Hi everyone, today we are going to learn how to paint a strawberry using gouache. So a few years ago, I did a comparison of different gouaches. I looked at Master's Touch versus Art Philosophy, and Holbein was thrown in there, but mostly Arteza uh, was compared. And somebody suggested that I go ahead and maybe show the tutorial of how to paint this strawberry. So I said, why not? Let's do that now. I'll be using a few different brands of paint, but mostly I'll be using Arteza, um, Scarlet Red, and Vermilion Red. I will also be using a little bit of Burnt Sienna, Lemon Yellow, Sap Green, and Olive Green. And since my Arteza White is basically gone, I will be using the M. Graham Zinc White artist gouache. So I will be using this strawberry as a reference and we're going to go ahead and take a look at all the different values. Here we have like a dark value in the middle and a lighter value uh, underneath and then on top it's more of a white pinkish highlights. Now when I paint the strawberry it's not going to look exactly like this but it'll be pretty close. So now we just want to sketch out the strawberry, just the uh, contour lines of the strawberry. I'm using a red, some type of red colored pencil. You can use whatever you'd like. You can use a regular pencil if you'd like to. If you're like me and you're just in a hurry and just want to paint, I go ahead and just do it freehand. Go ahead and just mix my uh, vermilion red and I just go ahead and outline the strawberry using my paintbrush. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, just the shape of a strawberry. In fact, I'm going to just make my own strawberry shape. I'm not even looking at the reference photo. I'm making my own shape the way I want it. And instead of looking at all the different values of the strawberry, I'm going to make two values for the strawberry. The top is going to be the lighter vermilion red, and the bottom will be a darker scarlet red mixed with either a little bit of green or burnt sienna just to darken it up. So here I am adding the top vermilion, and now I'm mixing the scarlet red with a little bit of green. It looks like that's what I'm using and I'm going to do the darker value underneath. This is a simpler way of doing things. So right here, I'm just adding a little bit of value, um, like a little outline on the top and at, at the bottom. And now that my first layer is dried, I'm adding a second layer of the vermilion red. Okay, so now that the bottom portion is dried, I'm adding another layer of the scarlet red mixed with a little bit of green. And you know that a little bit of green is a little bit more than last time, so it makes it a little bit darker.
adding a second layer to the dry layer underneath of the vermilion red. And now I'm gonna let it dry. Okay, now that it's dry, I'm going to use lemon yellow Holbein for the seeds. I couldn't find my Arteza, so I had to use Holbein, but that's okay, it's a better paint. But look how nice and flat and velvety that this painting dried. Looks so much better than when it was wet. It's gonna look even better once we put the seeds. Okay, so again, you wanna make sure that the gouache is nice and creamy like melted ice cream so you don't want it too watery and you're probably going to use a small brush and these seeds though are not going to be big they're going to be you know small medium size but there's going to be more of them rather than the way i did it in the previous video where i was comparing uh different gouache paints now the way I'm placing these, it's not gonna be like in a row, although sometimes I will place it in a row, but mostly I'm placing them sporadically uh, away from each other so that it just looks more natural. Go ahead and take a look at the strawberry if you have a reference and you'll see what I'm talking about. But remember, in actuality, the strawberry has a lot more seeds on it than this. I'm not gonna overload it that much. So kind of use your imagination, but also um, place seeds where it's important for the overall design when you look at your reference strawberry. Or you can just make it up in your head, it's okay. The seeds get smaller as they go lower down on the strawberry. Okay, so as we look at our photo reference, I'm going to take a look at the top highlight. That's going to be like an off-white, more like a light pink. And you see how the contrast between that and the seed, there's going to be some red that we're going to leave around the seed to help define that area. And then at the bottom, in the middle, we have some darker red around each seed. And so we're going to mimic that as well. And we will also add some of the little highlights that are around around some of the other seeds on the strawberry. Okay, so I'm mixing some green with my scarlet red so I can have a darker value around each of those uh, yellow seeds on my strawberry, especially at the bottom part. I will be using a size zero round brush for those details. Now on the top left, I am adding some scarlet red around those seeds and not so much the dark one, the dark mixture, but the scarlet. And I'm, I'm adding a little tiny bit of green, not much. Um, but those, um, those shadows are not as dark as the bottom part of the strawberry. Now that we're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and mix some of my white zinc gouache with a tiny bit of scarlet red or you can also use um, another type of red a cooler red if you want to it doesn't matter and it's going to be almost white but not exactly and I'm going to mix it like again melted ice cream very creamy and I need to use um, I'm going to use a size I believe this is a size four two or four um, round I'm not sure I think it's a two and so I'm gonna use that and I'm going to take a look at my reference photo and I'm gonna to try to mimic what I see. I will be now speeding up the video a little bit here.
Again, I am trying to capture what I see on my strawberry reference photo, but it's not gonna be 100% exactly the same because I'm gonna look at my strawberry and see if something looks off. I want it to be perfect in my eyes. So you can do this too. It's just a little bit of experimentation, looking at the strawberry that you are, are referencing from the from the photo and then looking at your strawberry my strawberry is a different shape it's a little longer so it's going to look a little different than the reference photo So before I finish the, the large highlight, I'm going to go ahead, look at the reference photo and start adding some of those highlights to the seeds at the far top of the strawberry. I think that will kind of help balance everything out. And then I can take a look at the strawberry as a whole and see how I need to finish the large portion of the highlight. In the reference photo, the uh, seeds at the bottom are, they don't have a, a lot of bright highlights, but I'm going to add brighter highlights than what I see. But it is a mixture of, of a little bit more pink in that white mixture. So it's not gonna be as white as the highlights on the top of the strawberry. But you really won't be able to tell since the background of the strawberry is so dark. So in my opinion, it's still too light. So I added some more, uh, either some scarlet red or another red or cooler red. And I added, I started adding um, a darker version of the highlight on top of the highlight that I just put down. And this is gouache, you can do that. So this is what makes it fun to work with. Okay, so I'm not 100% satisfied yet with the top highlight. I'm fixing some of the red portion around the seeds. And I will probably, again, be changing some of the highlight by adding another layer to make it a little more opaque and a little brighter. Okay, so I'm gonna take a break right there from the highlights. I think I'm satisfied, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and add um, the leaves and the stem. So I'm just using sap green, I'm using lemon yellow. I might add some olive green, maybe some darker green. You know, I'm just, I'm just playing around with the leaves. I'm looking at the reference photo, but it's not gonna be exactly like the reference photo, but you know, an impression of what those leaves look like.
Okay, added a little bit more yellow green to the top of the leaves and I'm done. This is the outcome of what we get. I think it looks pretty good. I also wanted to show you a second version of a strawberry that I created. In this particular strawberry painting, it's more like the reference photo in that the, the darkest part of the strawberry was in the middle and then the mid-tone was at the top and then the highlight on top of that. And the bottom of the strawberry is more of a muted red. And so I want you to take a look at the one I created before and this one and see the difference. The one on top I've kind of created from my imagination, darker at the bottom, lighter at the top, compared to the reference photo um, where it was darker in the middle and then mid-tone at the top and lighter, lighter at the bottom. So I don't know, in my opinion, I like the one that I did that I just did freehand, uh, outlined it, made my own shape and just used light and dark. But you know, you might have a different opinion on that. And to be honest, when you look at a photograph of a strawberry, it's all over the place. So any way you do it will be just fine. Thank you to the person who requested that I make this video. I had a lot of fun with it. If you like this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great day. And don't forget to have a lot of fun as you create.